I know you have an iPhone and you probably just got a new one. The problem is you still have photos you took years and years ago. But you, my friend, you've never backed up your device. That's a big problem. In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your device using iCloud, iTunes. And if you stick around, I'm going to show you how to save your backups on an external hard drive. Hi everyone and happy new year. I'm making this backup video because I noticed in these two previous videos that I made there's a high increase in people experiencing this problem and most of the people when they try to solve this problem they end up losing their data. So I decided to create this video to show you how to back up your device in a proper way so that you don't get in trouble of losing your data. If you just ended up on this channel for the very first time and you use technology, which apparently that's how you ended up here because you're looking for a solution, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you've been here before, I would recommend you to support this channel by subscribing to it. You can also post a question and I can make a video about it. Okay, now let's start with something very simple. iCloud, use backing up using iCloud on iPhone. Now this is very simple and I would recommend you doing this, uh, setting this up. It's very simple. So let's go to settings. And once you go to settings, just tap on your name, your Apple ID, and then we're going to scroll down here and look for iCloud. So we'll tap on iCloud. And then once you tap on iCloud, you will see a list of things. As you can see, I have some of those things turned off and some of them turned on, but we'll get into that later on. What I want us to go to is scroll down and you will see iCloud Backup. So if you tap on iCloud Backup, you will see that it's turned on. Now if yours is not turned on, you can turn this on. Make sure it's turned on. And what this will do is will make sure that your iPhone gets backed up whenever it's plugged in and it's connected to Wi-Fi. If you don't have access to any of that, you can manually just go come here and tap Backup Now. And that will start the backup process for you. So let's go back here. Um, we have options here that are turned off. So you can turn this off. What you need to pay attention to is that all of these things will be using your storage, your iCloud storage, not your phone storage. So I have some of these things turned off because I don't need them to use my storage. Uh, so for the iCloud keychain, this saves all your passwords. Now I don't want my passwords to be saved in iCloud, so I have that turned off. Um, some people find it very helpful. Same with photos. I have photos turned off because I only have five gigs of storage and that's not enough. So I turned off photos. I can manually back up those by myself. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see that we also have some third party applications installed. Now you don't have to make sure you can turn off most of these applications. Some of these applications, you don't need them to back up. I have WhatsApp backed up because I need those messages to be backed up. So we will scroll up and go to manage storage. Now with manage storage, we can see what, what exactly is using all the five gigabytes that Apple gives us. You can see that I have messages using more of my storage. Now for some reason, I don't know why Apple is still giving people five gigs. Uh, but if you need more, you can always buy. I don't know why they haven't increased this number from 5 gigs to maybe something like 15. I don't know. And they did not sponsor this video. I wish they did. So, Are you serious? You can also manage these backups. And as you can see, this phone is using almost 500. And that's just the backup for the phone itself, not just the messages and stuff. So, as you can see, you can delete some of those things as when you have them backed up already, uh, you can quickly manage your storage. Like I said, five gigs is not enough. So make sure you use it wisely by turning off some of the things. But all you need to make sure is you have backup turned on because this is going to back up all the configuration settings and everything. So and now we can move to iTunes and Finder. Let's actually start with a Windows machine. Now, if you go to a Windows machine, make sure your iPhone is plugged in 
and as you can see it's connected so we'll go to the backups here you can see that the backup section the default section is iCloud and you can see that the last time we backed up on iCloud is today and on this computer was that date so let's check to see that backup so you go to um, set you go to edit preference and once you reach here you go to devices you can see that the last backup I created on this computer is was on this date now you can see um, you can delete it or you can whatever but that's how you check so make sure you check your iTunes to see whether you still have any backups all right so right now we have the uh, backups encrypted so we can click on backup and that will start the backup process but now we're going to cancel this backup process because as you can see the default option is iCloud now we'll cancel that because we want to back up on this computer so make sure you double check that make sure that you're backing up on the computer not iCloud because you've already set that up on your iPhone so you don't need to do that again here um, but just know that this doesn't affect your settings on the iPhone so what we want to make sure is we select um, this computer not iCloud uh, so now we have that selected and we want to make sure that it's selected and we have our backup encrypted the reason for having backups encrypted is because anyone if anyone gets hold of these backups they can you restore them and use them against you so i would recommend adding a password on these backups so we'll go ahead and type in a password and um yeah change the password and now once we have every we have it encrypted our next step would be to go ahead and get this backup process started now i i would recommend if you are just getting and if you just got a new iphone and you want to transfer from one iphone to another before you do any transfers i would recommend backing up your iphone this way this is the most safest way to back up your iphone because the itunes backup or the finder backup it will back up everything even the last message you didn't send in iMessage will be backed up so this is your safest bet so make sure that you back up your old iPhone before you transfer to a new iPhone and I would recommend backing up using iTunes so this backup is going to take long depending on the storage of your device and how much data you have on your device now using the using the the magic of video editing this backup is going to take long so I'm just going to fast forward this and uh, to make it I'm just going to fast forward this all right so it's almost done just make sure that and this is another tip you need to pay attention to if you have an iPhone never use your iPhone to full storage make sure you always have a breathing space for your iPhone because that has been known to be the number one cause of iPhone boot loops. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out that video that I made a long time ago. So the backup now is done. So we unplug the phone and we'll switch over to the Mac. Now, if you have a Mac that's running 10 Mac OS 10.15, that's Catalina and above, you are going to find your iPhone in Finder. It's not going to be in iTunes. That that was if you if you have 10.15 and below your iPhone, you will have to use iTunes. So I'm using Catalina, so we'll go ahead and click on that and have enough the iPhone is showing up, so it's asking us for permissions. We'll click on that to get the permissions, and I'll type in my password on my iPhone here, and that will give us access now so as you can see it's a different interface but it's still some of the things as you can see some of the things are still the same so we'll go ahead and make sure that um, we have everything in the right order now one thing I would recommend is making sure to check that the backup is encrypted and as you can see on this Mac we haven't done any backups yet so if I check here you can see that 
we don't have any backups yet. Now, having said all that, let's go ahead and click backup now. Now this is going to start the backup process and like I mentioned, backup processes take long depending on how big, you know, big the phone is and the files you have. And with the magic of video editing, let's just forward this and make things go faster. So that, that our backup is getting done quicker than expected. So now that the backup is done, the next thing we have to do here is to check and see, as you can see, it says the last backup on this Mac is today. So if you manage backups, you can see that there's a backup which was made today. And that's basically how you backup. So you can also change the password, like I said, the password is very important because you don't want other people restoring their backups on your iPhone. So how do we transfer, how do we make copies of these backups on an external hard drive? So let's start with the Mac. If you click manage and then you right click here on this backup right here, you will see that there's an option here that says uh, show in finder. So if you click on that, this is the backup folder. Now, it has a weird name. It's like this weird long string name. Don't mind about that. But inside here, it has so many folders. You don't you don't have to mess with any of those folders. Just copy this entire folder and let's actually check to see how big it is. And it's almost, yeah, it's 15.4 gigabytes. So this storage will depend on your iPhone and what you have on your iPhone. So we'll go ahead and close that. Now what we need to do is you plug in your external, create a new folder. You can name this folder maybe backups. Uh, I don't know, iCloud backups. It doesn't matter what you name it, as long as it's it's for your for you, it's whatever you decide to name it. And in that folder, you can copy just. You can open that folder and copy your backup and place it in that folder. And it's it's fairly simple just to save those backups on your external hard in case your machine runs into any troubles. So same on Windows, we're going to make sure we check that if there are, you know, check and see if there's any backups. And there is like the one we did previously. Now on Windows, you can't access the backups like we did on a Mac. You have to locate them manually so you'd go to windows and then users and then your username and then apple mobile sync and then backup that is where you will find your backups and then just make sure you don't tamper with anything inside the folder because that will mess things up so all you have to do is copy this folder and save it on your external hard drive and that's how you make you know a safe copy of your backups now, I can't go into details, but there's a method we can use to manually just select these backups to go on an external hard drive so that your iTunes or Finder recognizes your external hard drive as a place to make those backups. Now, that will be another video, but before you transfer to a new iPhone, just a reminder, make sure you backup before you transfer. Uh, there have been so many cases where people try to transfer and their phones end up acting up before the backups you know complete i thank you guys for the questions that you've been sending i've answered pretty much all the questions that you guys send and those questions that you send help me uh create more videos for you so keep on the questions coming and make sure you like comment subscribe to this channel it really helps when you guys interact and subscribe and engage in the content that i create so please subscribe if you haven't and help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.